your video was made off of emotion, right? Tell me who's supposed to care. And I'm like, come on through, cook, yeah. I want to put my soap on, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What? Okay. <laughs> Here we are back so soon with another episode of what? Backpedaling and Pussy Popping. But this one is a dedication. I'm going to dedicate this to one specific person. Let's get on into this. All right, guys. So all of a sudden, it's a problem to make a response to someone else's video all of a sudden on YouTube. Bullshit. But... What I did, I didn't actually make a response to Nays Way's video, nor did Scotty. Okay, you're not the first one that made a video, sweetheart, about this. Forrest Rocks actually made a video about this same exact thing. And I think more people know who, who Forrest Rocks is. I don't think people even know who you are, for the most part. But people actually knew about Rocks, and she had it. But if you really want to try it out, go on up in there in the search bar and put it up there. Black gay men versus black women. See how many hits you come up with. See if yours even actually shows up in the list. Start there. Okay, so what I'm actually here for, and it is, is backpedaling and pop, pussy popping, and I'm going to explain why, but it's not even about being mean to, to, to you, Nay, or anything like that. You're right. I'm going to go ahead now. Because see, before you you accuse me of going through your video, picking your video apart, and attacking you. I've not done either. I didn't pick your video apart, and I didn't attack you. I made reference to you. Yeah, I did that. I made reference to you. But all of a sudden, now that's a problem for me to make reference to you. But in 2015... When I made reference to you and shouted you out nine million times, it wasn't a problem to say your name then. It's only a problem when I don't agree with what you said. Come on. And then you got your you got in your feelings because I said that you were delusional. Well, you are. You are. Not only are you delusional, you're self-absorbed, and you're judgmental as hell, and just all around motherfucking messy. But see, I hadn't said any of that. But I really don't like to be accused of things that I didn't do. I hadn't attacked you. But you'll be able to put this down as an attack, I guess. Because, you know, you kind of, you're real soft. You're ready to move your channel and all of this stuff. I'm going to really, you're going to take it as an attack, pretty much. But really, what this is is some advice. So I want you to pay real, real close attention. Since I'm actually in a different generation of old fags, let me, I'm going to give you some good old advice with your young ass, okay? Why do I say that you're judgmental? Two of your favorite sayings, of your favorite sayings that I keep hearing you say is, well, my criticism is, and why I don't agree with it is, who cares? Who cares? Who cares what your criticism is? Who cares what you don't agree with? Where's your credentials? Where's the credentials at that you get the chance to tell people how they should do things? And then you can't take it. Because whenever they say, well, no, no, I don't agree with that, then you all up in your feelings. Girl. <laughs> Let me just say how deep your uh, actual judgment is goes in you sat around and stated 
that you wanted to help Sean out with his organization and all that. You were so behind Sean on his organization. But then when all of the mess was going on with the TFC, he was in the middle of a beef that didn't have not a thing to do with Nay's way. You decided you weren't going to help the organization then because it was just too messy. Really? Again, your ass weighs a ton, right? You standing that far in judgment that at that point, whatever it was he was doing, ain't it, it ain't valid no more because he's in part in a beef, and I guess you weren't sad with him. It doesn't matter where you move your channel to, Janae. If you don't change your ways of the way you do things and get you some thicker skin, the only place that you need to take your channel is off of the air and throw it into the garbage because everybody is not going to agree with you. And when people don't agree, they're not attacking you. Sometimes people are going to attack you, so you got to get ready for that too. But they're not always attacking you because they don't agree. Okay, and not at one point did I make your video all about me. It wasn't about me. I couldn't even relate to what you're talking to because that's that's not me. Only point that I made is all people are not like that. All of the gay males are not hateful against women. That's not true. It's not true at all. That's all Scotty said in this video. That's basically all Sean said in his video. But you were okay with Sean. Why? Because he disagreed with you too. But because he told you you were brave. He told you you were brave. So it was okay. Whatever Sean said after that was fine because all you heard was that you were brave. Let me tell you a little bit about me, honey. I've been very nice. Very nice. And one thing that I've actually found out about forgiveness is when you forgive people, it seems to give them this little leeway. And that's why I have such a problem with forgiveness. And I'm, and this is actually really wrapping back around to you. Because remember, all of this, this whole video is really about you. Trust me. It's about you. Let's go all the way back to when you and I had a little issue. Because see, that's what it was. You and I had a little issue. We had a little issue because I put out a video and you felt like I had attacked you. Do you remember the shoe was on the other foot when I wasn't attacking you, but you thought I had attacked you. And there was the whole situation with Deb Chanel. Y'all remember that she and now Deb Chanel is always known as the porter potty lady from that whole little thing. But see, the part that nobody really knows about was on Blab. Nay. On Blab, when I came into the Blab, and you and I got to talk, we talked, we didn't fight, we didn't argue, we didn't yell at each other, we talked, and you said, oh, no, I really, I thought that you were attacking me, I said, no, baby, I wasn't, not at all, you know, I wasn't attacking you or anything, you said, oh, okay, cool, and everything was cool, and we moved on, later on, you got off the Blab, by the time the blab was over, I was told, James, make sure you go back and watch this whole blab. Watch the replay. When I watched the replay, Nay's way was speaking a whole different way with Tam G and S. Hutchison. So basically, what had actually happened, my messy little friend, is that you had backpedaled and pussy popped when I came on the screen because I didn't know what you had done two hours before. Before I got on Blab, you had talked plenty of shit. Now, I didn't drag you then. I didn't drag you. I forgave you and we moved on. Yesterday, when I seen, or the day before, whatever, I seen your this video, I noticed that you had the haircut. I've seen all the other stuff about people saying stuff about you and all of this and saying that you look like a boy and all that. I've seen all that. Did I say anything about that? Anything like that? No, I didn't. And if you want to ask, you can go and ask Sean. What I said to Sean was, you know, I like her little haircut. It's different. And I would, would have loved to have given her some real big earrings. This is the things that I said about you. 
But yet you're over there painting this picture of me that I'm this terrible, terrible person. And you're this victim. See, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like a messy motherfucker that plays victim. I really don't. Not at all. That was my problem with Gator Croc. You didn't learn anything. You're a smart girl. You sat right on film and told us you got three A's. So I know you're smart. So you should be able to follow me. You should be able to follow exactly what I'm saying. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to break this on down. And and no, you. I don't think you're homophobic. No, I don't. But I do think that you think that you're okay with doing things and then it ain't good. It's good for you, but it ain't good for other people. You're a walking, talking contradiction. You sitting around here claiming to be so black power and pro-black. Again, your name ain't the first name that anybody thinks of. When they think pro-black and all that for YouTube, little black chicks, your name ain't the one that comes up, boo. Squeaky. Squeaky. It ain't you. Squeaky's name come up before you, the girl with the fro. And it's cool. And then you said that I don't watch your channel. Girl, I've been watching your channel all along. Like, are you kidding? The first video that I ever watched of yours was a video about you talking about you and your husband cooking and stuff. And how y'all was having that feud. You didn't want him in the kitchen with you. And it was funny. And I started shouting you out. And I started introducing you to people. And all of that. Yeah, I did that. Me. That terrible, mean, gay guy. And your problem is not, no, you don't have a problem with with the gays. I saw a lot of that in the beginning. As I've watched you, I've watched you talk about everything. And I'm not going to even go there because, like I said, I ain't coming to drag you and be nasty. But I watched and I know all the stuff you talked about, about your the way you grew up and all of that. So, like, why are you trying to act like all of a sudden, oh, I only watch one video and this, that, because you want to play victim. Girl, stop it. Stop it. I'm going to need you to stop. So let's go. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you where your problem actually lies. And it, it's all in the video. If anybody wants to stop being ridiculous and listen to the video and what you actually said. And I didn't even go into all this. But now that you have put me on the spot, I'm going to go on. I'm going to put it on out there. I'm going to pull your card. Because, no, you don't have a problem with the gays as a whole. You got a problem with specific types of gays. And for some reason, I'm one, I fall into that category. But it's cool. And again, I still didn't take it personally or I drug you the other day. But being as though you're putting me out there. No, you, you're cool with the masculine acting gay. But the openly flamboyant gay, that's where your problem lies. If anybody really paid attention to what you were saying... Your problem lies with a specific type of gay, which is the same issue that Cemented had. And that's the other thing. You cried and cried and cried because I mentioned your name. But did you not sit on there and mention Cemented's name? Did you bring her up? Cemented don't even hardly make videos that much no more. But you brought her name up on your video. You brought her name up just as good. And drug her right on out and whatever her beef used to be and all that. Drug that on out there. You brought up attorney mom's name and all that. Girl, stop playing victim and acting like you ain't in on it. You're messy just like everybody else. You're doing everything that you're claiming that other people are doing. Yesterday, you on the, on the, on the screen screaming and yelling and hollering with Brasera. Screaming and yelling and hollering and showing your goddamn pussy like for real. For real. But you're all positive, right? You ready to run away from YouTube because other people are acting like that, but you ain't acting like that, huh? Sitting on screen yelling and screaming at me. Really? Stop it. Stop it with the contradictions. It's ridiculous. And you don't need to talk about gay issues until you get that together because you do have issues. And I'm here to tell you some of the shit that you actually said and insinuated were much more offensive than half of the shit that Cemented has said it over, over time and she's been drugged for. So seriously, walking, talking, contradiction, just like I said. It's ridiculous.
absolutely ridiculous. And you are not a victim. No one's victimizing you. And like I said, if you want to take your channel and move it somewhere, if you don't change, just throw it in the garbage. Ain't no need to go on to another site or go to some other social media because you're going to run into the same problem. You're going to offend people with what you're saying. You insinuated that everybody that you knew that was gay, that was drag queens, that were out, they were out, that weren't the masculine ones. You basically insinuated that they all had issues and they were all unhappy and they were all mad and mean and taking it out on the wrong people. That's what you said. That's what you said. All I said was that that wasn't true. And then I proved it to you. Where did I ever treat you that way? I ain't never treated you that way. Never treated you that way. Even when you came at me, because you came at me in a very, very wrong way. You did me just like, uh, like I said, you wanted to treat me like you would treat one of your little girlfriends. You just sat up there and backpedaled and pussy popped out for you to talk about me like a dog. If I was a, another woman, I'd have cussed you the fuck out. When I found out that information, I would have went at you head on and cussed you the fuck out. Had you done that shit to S. Hutchinson, she'd have cussed you the fuck out and drug your ass. Had it been BBW or any of them that be on that line up on blabbing that, if it had been them that you were talking about the way you talked about me and then backpedaled and pussy popped it and they found out, they would have drug you. So stop trying to build the case that all the, the outward gays are, are mean and hateful and, and they victimize all women because that's bullshit. Yes, there are some that do do that, like I said in my video, but we don't all do that. And we don't all need counseling. And who in the fuck are you to do the counseling anyway? Like for real? Come on, stop. So that's basically it. That's what I had to say. And, uh, yeah, you ain't got to make up nothing. This was all about you, boo. This was all about you. All dedicated to you. Stop backpedaling, pussy popping, and judging people. Because you're always standing in judgment and sitting around and then playing like you're so innocent and you full of mess. Wherever there's mess, we see you. Wherever there's a beef going on, we see you. You be running around, you right in between the beef. That's how you got into it with Priscilla, following beef. And another thing, you stated that everybody needs to watch the subscribers and watch how they do, because they go over here and they do this, that, and the other, and, and all that, and they be in the mess. Again, another contradiction. They need to watch the subscribers. Well, we need to be watching you too, right? Because that's how you started off with me. You started off, you were a subscriber. You were a subscriber. And then, you know, everything was going on. I was watching you. You was watching me. Everything was fine. Everything was cool as long as I was shouting your name out. When I shouted your name out, you were cool with it. You were fine. As soon as I disagreed with you, now you ain't cool no more. And then you was inserting yourself in mass. So, yeah, I guess I'd have to agree with you on that one. Watch your subscribers. Girl, go sit down. Anyway, I'm done with it. I am done with it. But you can't you, you, you can't be attacking people and saying things and thinking that people ain't going to say nothing back because they are. Oh, and one last thing. What your video really was all about, let's just really put it on out there. What it was really all about, it was really an attack on Justin. That's what the video was really about. Your whole issue was the situation with Justin and Candy. You literally infused your little ass into the situation between Justin and Candy. Now, y'all go back and watch the video again and piece it down. It was about Justin and Candy and how you felt like Justin owes Candy an apology. And possibly he does, but who in the hell are you to tell him that he needs to do it? And doing that. Girl, I'm out of here, and I'm done with this. Stop that backpedaling and pussy popping, and stop hiding and playing victim. Because you're not. Bye, Nay.